in continuing with the iOS BLE in Swift. This lesson works on iOS BLE Connect and Disconnect. We will walk through how to connect to the BLE device after finding the device. Let's start with the previous lesson on scanning. When scanning, we see the BLE devices showing on the screen. We will build the project views in the table view style. We develop code so that when the user clicks on the device, the app will move to a detail view and show this BLE device properties. Now, open the last scanning project. Add a new folder view to the project. And move the file content view to this folder. We will create a new view file, detail view. Right click on view. New file. Select Swift UI view. Then click next. In the detail view, put all the following codes. When the user clicks on the selected device, the app moves to this detail view and shows the connection status. In this lesson, this view structure only shows the connection status. More features will add in the following lessons. If the app is connected to the device, detail view shows connected. If not connected, it shows cannot connect. In this structure, we added a timeout of 3 seconds. If the phone cannot connect after 3 seconds of trying to connect, it will stop the connection process. To move to this detail view, we modify the code in content view. Inside the for loop, we add a navigation link to the detail view. Let's run the project. Let's connect one device I home meant B781. Detail view show connected when connected. Let's try another one. LE Bose Color Sound Link. The app is trying to connect. And after 3 seconds, it will stop and show cannot connect. One feature we want to add here is, when click on back the app will disconnect with the connected device. We will modify the back button to handle disconnection. In detail view add. The function go back will disconnect the device. Add the variable presentation mode. In the BLECOM view model. Add the built-in function to invoke when the disconnection is completed. In here, we have the function reset configure. The purpose is to reset the connection status. Let's summary the connection and disconnection project. When the user selects a device in the list, the app moves to detail view, and before it appears it makes the connection by calling the function connect.
If it is connected, then it will show connected. If it cannot connect for 3 seconds, it will show cannot connect. We build a button back to disconnect the device when the user clicks on this back button. This line of code will not use the pre-build back button. This code builds our button back. When the user clicks on this back button, The app will call the function, cancel peripheral connection to disconnect the device. When the disconnection is complete, the iOS Core Bluetooth will invoke this function. In here, we add the variable connected user BLE peripheral to use in the next lessons.